Welcome to the Bella Vista Gardening Program. I'm Jerry Horner and joining me today is Pat Meyer. She's the president of the Bella Vista Garden Club and she's a fellow Benton County Master Gardener. And today we're going to be talking about um, the Bella Vista Garden Club celebrating 50 years. Yes. It's a big event. It's a very big event. Very big. <laughs> and I'll also be talking about um, events coming up and uh, what to do in your garden in June. So first of all, I want to thank our sponsor um, for, the for the program, and that is Creeks Nursery. And they're on uh, McNelly Road. And they've got a great selection of plants and trees and rocks and hardscape, and they're just a, a great nursery to visit. And then if you visit them, be sure and thank them for um, sponsoring our show. We appreciate it. And then upcoming events, um, the Bella Vista Garden Club had to postpone our Correct. plant sale last Saturday, right, Saturday, on May 21st, because of the rain and lightning, and it was horrible weather. So, yes. <laughs> and then it's rescheduled. Yes, for June 4th. June 4th. Okay, so June 4th from 8 to 1. Right. And uh, it's open to the public. You don't need reservations or um, don't have to Correct. You know, email for an appointment. Mm -hmm. So it's just open to the public at the wastewater plant off 71. And they've got trees and shrubs and perennials and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, right. Great plants. Beautiful. So, <laughs> and if you need more information, uh, there's more information will be on the website and right. that's bellavistgardenclub.com and they'll and I think Facebook has a lot of information too, the Facebook Correct. page. Yes, there's a lot on there. Yeah. <laughs> So, and then the other upcoming event I've been waiting for in a long time is um, the Bella Vista Garden Extravaganza, which is our um, garden tour, and held on June 11th, Saturday, June 11th, from 10 to 4. And it's going to have a seven gardens Beautiful owned gardens. by garden club members. Right. And uh, also the Creeks Nursery is going to have a... I don't know what all they're going to have, but I think they'll have some specials. Um, my understanding is, yeah, I think there's a check-in point to. Um, yeah, you can buy tickets there buy if tickets you didn't there, have your or tickets. Or at the garden sites. Yeah. Okay. So, um, but the tickets are on sale now. Correct. And yes. um, they're ten dollars if you buy them in advance, and fifteen dollars a day of the of the extravaganza. It's going to be a fun event. Yes. And if the weather holds out, yes. we've had so much rain. We're just praying we won't have rain. Um, but um, they're available, tickets are available at um, uh, um, Arvest Bank locations. Arvest Bank. Yes. Let's see, Highlands Gates, Town Center, Sugar Creek, and then they're at uh, the Bluebird Shed Correct. on Lancashire. And then also at Audrey's Resale Boutique, they have them available there. So, And all the Garden Club members should have yes. tickets. If you know a Garden Club member, just Correct. ask them and they'll mm -hmm. get you a ticket so and um, so we'll talk a little bit more about it later too but we we do need to talk about the 50th anniversary of the Bella Vista Garden Club that is just um, a highlight that, we're, that we have I mean we've been in existence for 50 years now I haven't been in it for 50 <laughs> years but I've only been over tw have I. 27, <laughs> so, but I've been in it a long time. It's just such a wonderful organization. And we started, it, you started really getting into a lot of information. Right. Back you, in, um, in March, we mm -hmm. did, uh, we planted a dogwood tree at the new fire station, yeah. number three on Glasgow Road. And, um, had a big celebration there. Yeah, that was a Coosa dogwood. Yes, it was. Which is a little unusual. It's, it's so. blooming right now. Is it blooming right yes. now? <laughs> so early June it's blooming. Yeah. Okay, so, we'll have to watch is, for it every yeah, year. Looks so. great. So it's doing very well. Yeah. And then in April we dedicated our uh, history books that are at the Historical uh, Museum mm -hmm. on Highway 71. And uh, <clears throat> we so we dedicated all the history is right there. They're yeah. keeping it for us. Well, they keep our entire history. We've got mm -hmm. all of our yearbooks back to the beginning, our financials, our minutes, <laughs> our, you know, we've got everything there, awards right. and, yeah. you know, wonderful it is. history great that, that they've, they've saved for us. Yeah, it's really great so. that they've been doing that. And then in May at the, um, actually last weekend, 
mm -hmm. at the Friday sale, which we had a beautiful day for that. Mm -hmm. um, we had one of our master gardeners, one of our many master gardeners in, that's in the club, um, mm -hmm. do a um, question and answers for uh, anybody who came and you know bought plants. Mm -hmm. So that worked out really well. Yeah. So. That's always a good thing to have. Yeah, we've got eighteen, I think, master gardeners in the garden club, and yeah. they're just such a good resource. You well, know, they really are, and she can did answer a great all job. kinds of questions. So yeah. answering questions, and mm -hmm. <clears throat> everybody seemed to enjoy that, and um, so that was our May event. Mm -hmm. And then coming up in June, uh, we'll have our June luncheon, which will also be part of our 50th celebration. Uh -huh. And we're going to do it at Crystal Bridges. Well, that's really a big event. Yes, Crystal it Bridges. Is. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, so, and then looking <clears throat> forward to that. Yeah, that will be fun. And then uh, we celebrate Garden Week in June, too, mm -hmm. which is the first full week in June. Now, that's the National Garden Club right. Incorporated's Garden Week. Yes. And I think that Mayor Christie also dedicated that week as the Bella Vista Garden Week. Right. So, so but we're doing um, that's when the garden extravaganza will be. So, mm -hmm. that will be part of it during uh -huh. that week. And we're also doing a installing a um, stained glass butterfly sign for the cemetery at the oh. gardens there, and dedicating yeah, to because we maintain club. those gardens. Yes, we yes. do. We put a lot of work into we those really gardens. Do. Yes. They're beautiful. <laughs> so, and then, of course, the extravaganza is just something we're looking forward to. We haven't had a garden walk or garden tour for quite a number of years, yeah. I think 2013, yeah. something it's like that. Yeah, it's been a while. So, and we used to have it every other year, and, you know, things changed with all these yes. events <laughs> coming about. But we're, we're so, getting back to the garden yes. tours. Yes, so. hopefully we'll be back to normal. I yeah, think. We're getting whatever here. normal is. <laughs> right. Whatever the new normal is, <laughs> yes. yes. Correct. Yeah. <clears throat> and then our final 50th celebration will be at a, in July, and it'll be at a farmer's market We here. Uh, we have a, one of those old-timey um, photo op boards, you know, where you stand behind the hole and, oh, and get then, your picture taken. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. So <clears throat> my daughter um, made it for us and painted it. Yeah, she's That's, quite an artist. Yeah. So. Well, you're an artist, too. Oh, well, so. <laughs> but but uh, So that will be the, the end of the celebration then. But... For the year, but, but that and that's going to be like you can do a family, family photos, photo. photos, yes. Okay, because I think we get some families that come to the farmers market. We do, we do. And it, um, so it'll be an opportunity for families to stand yeah, behind it, get the picture taken. That'll be and, fun. Yes. Yeah. So it'll okay. be great. So um, when we talk about the National Garden Clubs, I think. Um, there's so many people don't understand what we talk about when we talk about <laughs> NGC and National Garden Club and AFGC and all the all those, you know, letters. Right. But we're under the National Garden Club Incorporated it's in Brella. So, um, and they started out um, in 1929. Wow. So amazing. they've got quite a history too. Um, and then in 1958 they moved to St. Louis, and I come from St. Louis, so. Um, they purchased property from the Botanical, Missouri Botanical Garden, and then um, they built their headquarters there. And the back of their building is all glass looking onto the Botanical Garden, so it's a beautiful setting. So, um, but that's where, you know, it started, and they include the 50 states, and then also the National Capital is another section that they, wow. you know. So, but it's, and it's divided in, all the states are divided into eight regions. So, uh, we are in the South Central region, which includes um, Arkansas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas. So, those four states are a region that kind of has meetings and gets together and shares, you know, information. And then under that is the Arkansas Federation of Garden Clubs that we belong to. So that's uh, just all the clubs in Arkansas. Then the state is divided <laughs> into uh, um, districts. So um, we have, we're in the Northwest District. So they have um, Northwest, Southeast, Northeast, you know, all the four corners, and then Pulaski County around Little Rock. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about the NGC and the AFGC and all these <laughs> letters, that's what it all means. So um, then it all boils down to our garden club, which so, and right now we have 109 members. I know, we're growing. We're growing, <laughs> we're growing. Mm -hmm. And um, 
they're just, you know, members that want to learn and work to make things more beautiful in Bella Vista, so, and the area. Mm -hmm. So, and we've applied for awards for many, many years. Um, with Correct. NGC, FG, and AFGC. And won a lot. And we've won a lot. And um, um, this past year, we just received um, the AFGC the and then the regional, right. regional the yeah. awards. And we won't get the national awards till August. August yes. So right. um, but we did <coughs> receive awards. We did. Yeah. Actually, uh, we received first place for the Heritage Award, which is the cemetery the uh, work that we do there, um, and I think that's not the only first time we've won first no. place. We've won it quite a bit for yeah. that. Um, and then we also received first place for garden therapy, which mm. is done at um, the uh, assisted living facilities, right. uh, Brookfield and Concordia. And we do little we do um, projects, gardening projects you know, and at least three times a year mm -hmm. and we're talking about adding maybe doing additional ones oh because they it's really very oh, popular it's so popular with the, the residents the residents there. love it yeah yes and it's a lot of fun mm -hmm. to go and work it and mm -hmm. be there and see the enthusiasm that the residents yeah. have for the project well they that make we do. A bird feeders and they plant you know, make pots and they, they just do all kinds oh, of creative, yes, you know, creative gardening things. And they just love it. And oh, it yeah. You know, so we're talking about adding more to that. So, yeah. but we won first place for that. Yeah. And then we won first place for our yearbook. Well, which, I have a cop. This yearbook, uh, Kathy Wason um, is yeah. the artist that creates this. And she's yes. such a beautiful, and she's the one that created our logo years ago. Yes. So we have a beautiful logo, but she does a beautiful job on our yearbook. It's, she does. It's really yeah. And nice. It was great to see her win yeah. first place in that. So. Yeah. And, um, then we received first place for the Civic Achievement Award, which is for the work that's being done down at the Wall of Honor. Right. We work down there with the annuals. Right. And I think we just had a big project down there this past year, didn't we? We had to replace... Right. We had to replace the um, uh, trees. Hollies. The hollies that got were flooded. there. Got flooded. Right. Yeah, really they were bad. damaged from the yeah. storm, and they got replaced. And then we got a special evergreen that we put in there. Yes, yes. So. I think it was a special one that's supposed to be hardier and, and not <laughs> survive these floods that yes. they have down there, right? Well, that's been good since the big flood took out the dam, it seems like. Mm -hmm. We're not getting so much flooding now, yeah. so. Yeah. But, which we'll is see great. what happens in the future with yeah. that. But. Well, yeah, because that's just, that's sad when that happens. Oh, yeah. 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 So. All that work and then you have to redo things. Right. Yeah. And then we had a runner-up for the Bravo Award, which is for a member who is always doing something for the club, but never re asking for accolades yeah. or anything. And uh, Kathy Downard won that. Yeah, and she's always there, no matter oh, what. She is. She's just she works behind the scenes and quietly. Yes. And, <laughs> you know, she's just always doing something. And, yes. You know. So, and then we received second place for our membership increase. Okay. So, so we are growing, and that one of the problems with the uh, garden clubs, um, both NGC and uh, AFGC, is uh, is the membership has kind of gone down. You know? Very true. It's not as popular as it used to be, and but we are getting new members and younger members. Right, and we need younger members. Yeah, <laughs> we need. Well, we need the muscle power. Yes, we do. And, you know, <laughs> but. Um, I have noticed that there are younger members starting to join, so maybe we get a resurgence of interest. And then, of course, with the gardening, home gardening, right? You know, people are putting in more vegetable gardens, and mm -hmm. they're getting more more interested in gardening. So that's a good thing. So, and then we're always looking ways to, you know, um, provide scholarships for the Dorothy Wallace scholarships that we give away, and we've given right. away thousands and yeah. thousands of dollars in yeah. scholarships yeah, we did over two the years. $4,000 scholarships uh, last year. And the year before. And the year before. Right. And um, <clears throat> I think that's what we'll be doing this year. So that's three years, yeah. $8,000 in scholarships. Yes. That's right. And the plant sales provide that and the card parties if we can yes. ever have one again. Well, we're hoping so. in October to have one yeah. this year. Yeah. So, But 50 years is just a wonderful, wonderful um, tribute to all the work that's been done by garden club yes. members and they're just so enthusiastic and they just get along so well so there's some friendships that have been made with the garden club that are just um, outstanding yeah. friendships and 
It's, it's a great organization. Uh, it's a fun group of people, too. Mm -hmm. They Everybody's, you know, works well together. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, We've got a lot of projects. We do a lot of projects. We really do. Yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. anyway, but, and then also, um, they have something else with AFGC with... Um, Oh, it's the Circle of Roses. If you're in a garden club for more than 25 for 25 years, you can belong to the Circle of Roses. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I'm I'm in that. So it's, but it's it's a uh, kind of a good honor to after 25 years to yes. You know, well, and then Penny you know. Pines too does. Oh, and Penny Pines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do the Penny Pines. It's, right. We Which collect money. We do for um, two two ways. We also do honor members who have. You know, done a lot for the club, mm -hmm. and that's uh, we raise money to uh, plant trees mm -hmm. in areas that have been devastated by either fire mm -hmm. or storms or whatever. Yeah, it's an old program. It is a very it's, old, old program. Yeah. And then we also do it in uh, uh, honor of or memory of uh, members who have passed or their spouses mm -hmm. that have passed. Yeah. So, so it's what a would they program? Well, one of the things we do is pass around a jar right. and just ask for change, change. you know, at the meetings, and yeah. then everybody yeah. empties, empties their change right. into that. So yeah, it's we, a, we've done quite a few of them, and yeah. I think it's sixty-eight dollars is gets the. Yeah, it's not very much. No, money. it's not a lot of money. So, but they plant trees plant where trees, they need to be yeah. planted. So Which is great. It's a great program. Mm -hmm. So, but fifty years, we'll hope for another fifty years. Yeah, we won't be around to see it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll be around. Hopefully, to see it. <laughs> Somebody will be. Yes. Yeah, Hopefully going. it gets carried on. <laughs> Got to carry on. Mm -hmm. So, and then um, things we need to do in June for your garden is another thing we need to talk about. And this is the month between spring and summer where, you know, you've yeah. got to finish up your plantings, which right. I have to do. And um, you're mulching in and, and uh, right. get ready for the heat of the summer. So. But we've had so much rain lately, we can't even get planting in because oh, it's the rain. We've yeah. had a lot of rain. And mm -hmm. um, so, so we'll, yes, we have our annuals. Uh, that's the last chance to plant and deadhead mm -hmm. um, often and continue to continue the blooms. Yeah. And fertilizing and pinch, pinching back. Um, yeah. Also avoids your plants from growing too tall and yeah. quickly or spindly. So. So. And the herbs, if you haven't plant, finished planting your herbs, I know it's been so wet out there you can't yeah. really plant. But, you know, just try to do it early in the month because they're going to have to be settled in pretty soon. Um, yeah. And then uh, the garlic is the time. Garlic is when you plant that in June. So mm -hmm. usually you plant garlic in June, and then you'll be uh, harvesting in October. October. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> got to get the garlic in. Yes. And for our bulbs, you've got the spider lily and the naked lady uh, bulbs can be mm -hmm. planted for fall blooms. Mm -hmm. um, and you remove the foliage off its spring right, bulbs it's, if it's brown. Well, when we had blue. all those beautiful daffodils blooming, we got a lot of foliage. Yes. But we had to leave it on for at least yes. six weeks yeah. to feed the bulbs. So right. I think it's it's pretty close now. I think the first couple of weeks of June you can finally, finally cut all that. cutting that off. off That'll be if, good. If yeah. it hasn't died back. So. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. And then daylilies should be blooming soon. I just moved a bunch of daylilies, but um, they should be blooming in June. Right. And um, you can deadhead as, as the, the blooms fade. Now, I did have one friend that had a lot of daylilies in Daylily Club, and she would cut the blooms in the evening and bring them in because she knew the next morning they'd be dead. Yeah. So she enjoyed them that evening. That's a good Which way to is do a, it. You know, yeah. good way. And they are edible. You can put yeah. them in little, put the leaves and, <laughs> you know, petals in your salads or whatever. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> just be sure to put, pinch back all, all your your plants. Right. So they're not spindly. Yeah. So. And then our lawns, our Bermuda, you want to fertilize it every 30 to 45 days. Mm -hmm. um, it's greened up now. Yes. You can fertilize. Well, I thought that the rain, that's very great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not floating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and mow to maintain a height of uh, 1.5 to 2 inches. Mm -hmm. And uh, fescues is mow to maintain the height of 2.5 to 3 inches. Yeah, that keeps them a little cooler. Cooler, yeah. yeah. And lawns require a deep watering, which I don't think we have to worry about that no, right now. Right now. <laughs> but, you yeah. know, the drought will come. Yes, yeah, and then, then you want to, to maintain at least an inch yeah. weekly. And then uh, the roses, you have to watch for your aphids and your fungus. Um, and you want to deadhead them to encourage new blooms. 
but you want to uh, uh, fertilize your roses. They're heavy feeders, and yeah. be sure they're moist before you fertilize so it doesn't burn the roots. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the climbers, you know, you, you trimmed your most of your roses in March, but the climbers get trimmed after the first bloom. So if they, once they bloomed, probably in June, they need to be uh, trimmed back if needed. So, and then they, they do need that one inch of rain at least once a week. So, and then June is a time we get maybe get Japanese beetles, but we haven't had too many last couple of years. No, so it's seen a lot less, they have, so, which is good. It's just a good thing. <laughs> yes. So just watch for your Japanese beetles. And, yes. So. <clears throat> When you want to, on your trees and your shrubs, you want to prune the, your dead limbs mm -hmm. and the tiny limbs starting on new, you know, the trunk of the tree. Yeah. And newly planted trees and shrubs should be watered deeply yeah. um, each week until Gotta established. Get them established, yeah, right. Get them established. So. And leave a few inches between the trunk and the mulch to avoid promoting yeah. rot and disease. And then you see the these, tree. you know, trees with this mulch piled up, you know. I know. <laughs> like a volcano it's mm -hmm. just that's not good for the trees no don't do that and then the vegetables you know just monitor your watering which we don't have to worry about <laughs> now but you had to fertilize your tomatoes and that yeah. and with all this rain we could have some early tomatoes that are damaged yeah. from all the rain they yeah. split or whatever so mm -hmm. but enjoy your efforts on uh, harvesting your vegetables as they come to maturity so but don't forget to enjoy your garden. You know, take some time to sit and just enjoy it. And, you know, don't just work out there all the time. You know, sit and enjoy mm -hmm. it, too. So, and watch the birds and the butterflies oh, yeah. enjoy it, too. And the so, birds have been spectacular this oh, They year. have. We've <laughs> had some orioles mm -hmm. and, and uh, grosbeaks and, mm -hmm. and a lot of different birds coming yes. through. So. <laughs> And uh, don't forget, if you have any other questions about gardening, there's a Master Gardener website, bentoncountygardening.org, and it's filled with information, along with bellavistagardenclub.com. It has got a lot of information. And um, just, you know, check out on Google, right. you know, all these different things you can do. So the Garden Club is going to resume their meetings in um, September. Correct. And um, fourth Wednesday of the month. The fourth Wednesday of the month. And we meet at the community church. At the community church. And mm -hmm. that's a great location because it's just so airy with a lot of windows and it's just, mm -hmm. it's a lot of good parking and it's a really good location. Because yes. we've met, the Garden Club has met in so many different places over the 50 years. I, th I first joined and they, when they met at the Lutheran Church on, um, like, on um, Forest Hills. Mm. And before that, I think they were at Reardon at one time, and then they were at the library, and they just met at so many different locations over the years right. that, uh, you know, as they grew, they had to have, you know, more Bigger space. Facility, yes. Yeah. So, but um, community church is a great place to meet. Mm -hmm. And maybe you can join us in September, and, and if you're not a member, maybe become a member. Right. So. So thank you, Pat, for joining me today and sharing all that information about Garden Club. <laughs> it's just a great organization, and 50 years is quite a milestone. Yes, it is. So, <laughs> and, uh, and I hope you've enjoyed the program, and we'll tune in again next month. And until then, don't forget to stop and smell the roses. <laughs>